Hi Virgo, this is your mid-month reading for the month of May. I'll be doing this first and then I'll be doing a how does he or she feel about me section at the end, so stay tuned for that. If these messages don't resonate with you, be sure to check your moon, Venus and rising sign to get a clearer idea of what is in store for you. So, love messages for Virgo. Mid-month of May 2018. Love messages for Virgo. Mid-month of May 2018. Messages for Virgo, May 2018, mid-month messages. Other messages for Virgo in love, mid-month of May 2018. This was my goal. Mid month of May theme for the middle of the month is the three of hearts which is basically the three of cups which to me is saying go out and enjoy yourself some of you will be enjoying some time with friends more pleasure and less work with friends so Girls get togethers, family get togethers. That seems to be the theme of the end of this month, the middle of this month to the end. So, some of you in the past were dealing with a Capricorn or somebody with Earth in their chart. Some of you may have Earth in your chart also. The Queen of Pentacles. For some of you, I'm seeing possible third party, or maybe you are the one who is seeing somebody else or seeing multiple people. But this theme is to have fun. So some of you are doing that. And Some of you may have earth in your chart or you're dealing with someone who has strong, strong earth in their chart. I'm seeing that even with the, the good times, the fun times, they still need to pay attention to your finances, to be responsible, not to overspend and have too much fun at the end of this month. Some of you, the person in your life is somewhat older and maybe encouraging you to not overspend. And the King of Swords. I'm definitely seeing some people who are watching are talking to more than one person. Some. 
for some of you you may be partying and meeting multiple people at the end of this month which is great if you are separated from your not husband but like the person you were talking to if they've decided to walk away and leave you wondering why and leaving you feeling abandoned left out in the cold you'll be going out and enjoying yourself and not thinking about them and meeting new people for some of you i'm seeing that um i see I don't know if I want to say that. Alright, for some of you I see maybe an experimentation of the the same sex, the same gender, some of you. And But I don't see this lasting. I don't see this. The fun with these random new people that you meet, that you may meet, or even if it's at work or something or anything like that. I don't see them being serious or lasting. I feel like you're just like completely having a good time, which is great. I encourage that. But I encourage safety too. A chariot, okay, moving in different directions. As I said, that's what I'm seeing for some of you in this reading. Also, not taking these people serious, not moving too fast into anything with them. For a lot of you. For some of you, I feel like this is you. If you're a woman, I'm seeing more than one man coming in one air sign one one with air in his chart one with earth in the chart i'm seeing that you are meeting multiple people but i don't see it being i don't feel like you want it to be serious i feel like you're having a great time and this may be due to somebody leaving you out in the cold and of course, the best thing is to do is to focus on yourself. The five of one. <laughs> you having a good time may cause, if you're doing it because you've been left out in the cold, I feel like this person who left you out in the cold is not going to be happy. Like I feel like they'll be jealous. They want you to be at home crying but you're not, so they'll be pissed. And if it's your goal to piss them off, then definitely that will be happening. <laughs> um, for others, I actually see these two competing for you. Maybe they're friends, maybe they know each other. But I see them thinking that you're taking them seriously but really you're just having light-hearted fun for the month because you're taking a break which is the best thing for some of you the air sign could be the person who left you out in the cold and they come back in when they see this new person and they decide that they're gonna fight for you maybe not physically but they definitely are not happy about you moving on and i feel like you're gonna do a great job of just focusing on yourself and having a good time and pissing the person off i mean you should never let someone leave you out in the cold and expect you to be at home crying and you actually be at home crying no you should definitely go out and do what you need to do do what you want to do and from what i'm seeing they're not gonna like that but why would you want someone who doesn't want you to have fun 
I'm just saying. But that's for you to talk about with the person when he comes, he or she comes back around. But there is definitely conflict because of that. Because of you having a good time, but it's your life. <laughs> Don't let them control you. Okay, it's time for how does he or she feel about you? So for Virgo, how does he or she feel? How does he or she feel about Virgo? Mid month of May. How does he or she feel about Virgo in the middle of May? How does he or she feel about Virgo in the middle of me? <laughs> How does he or she feel about Virgo in the middle of me? So, what I see here is basically the result of you having a good time. Eventually, they come back with this rapid communication, most likely ask, asking you questions, what have you been doing, blah, blah, blah. They're in shock. They start to feel, they start to feel like you are more valuable because you're not at home crying about them you're not being weak they start to feel that you're more valuable to them and they start to see you as a potential partner because the games are not working so i feel like they have to reevaluate everything now while well, you're having a good time they find out that you're having a good time and they see that you, you're not the one to be toyed with. You're not gonna sit at home. You're gonna go out and enjoy yourself. So they realize they better not leave you again because you'll go out and you'll have a good time again and they don't want that. They just, I feel like they don't want you to do that without them. So here comes the communication through social media even maybe stalking your social media and seeing that you're having a good time you become more attracted more attractive to them and they start to realize your worth i'm also seeing an upcoming date a possible date after this after everything goes on because I feel like they feel like they need to step up and make the effort. I feel like they're not putting in enough effort, they're playing games and they see you having a good time. They see the games are not working. They start to stalk you on social media. You may see them, you may see them viewing your stuff or you may not, you may be more secretive, but then they come in with the communication fast communication suddenly like it may shock you and like I said with the you know the the conflict between them and whoever these new people are that you meet they may feel jealousy to what about that 
this poses a challenge for them and they start to take you more seriously. You start to realize that if you you want to be gone, you can be gone. And then they probably won't want to risk that again. I feel like after the whole jealousy thing and they find out and everything this is for some of you by the way they after the whole fight calms down if there's a fight or if you kind of ignore them he'll like calm he or she will calm down and i feel like there is going to be a reconciliation The relationship will continue, as you see here. So it's not doomed. I feel like if you were to sit at home and not enjoy yourself, the longer you stay, the longer you remain invisible and don't enjoy, go out and enjoy yourself the longer it's going to take for the person to return because they're going to think that their games are working and you're at home sitting around missing them watching your phone they feel like the game is working the sooner you get out and you focus on yourself and you have a good time and they see that it's not going to be so pretty they're going to feel shaken up they're going to feel threatened they're gonna have to see that you're not the girl or guy that they thought you were that you can move on if you want to you can be alone if you want to and you're just not with the games so these this is how they feel this is not how they feel yet this is how they will feel when you step out and you do you They will, it will affect them. Because it's, a, it's one of those things where you, you don't know what you have until it's gone. They don't know what they have until it's gone. Or almost gone. Or enjoying their self. <laughs> so, it's up to you to focus on yourself if this is what you want, this chemistry. Eventually, in the long run. So, for some of you, you don't even need to necessarily go out. It's more like just not just not texting them, not trying to reach them, not checking on them to see if they're okay. That's a part of the game. They want you to do that. That will keep them in power. It will keep you waiting for them. And you don't want that. So, do you have fun. Okay? So that was your mid-month of May reading. Feel free to subscribe, like, comment, and share. And I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.